to enjoy YouTube channel. I want to say thank you to all of my subscribers. Thank you so much for subscribing to Stylish Ninja YouTube channel. Okay, so I'm so excited. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make this structured waist design using the cage art technique. So cage art techniques, for those of you that really don't know, has been, um, this is, is a kind of technique that was actually used in the 18th century. So they were used for dresses like corsets, for like Tudor colors. What I mean is if you watch those old movies, you see most of them like the Victorians, their colors used to stand That's for the men. You see them, they put on something that colors are standing and then the women, you see the big dresses. So it's actually the cage art technique that was used. So now it is back, you know, fashion evolved. So it is back in trend and then in a more modernized way. So for this and design, so you could see the design was actually added on the sleeve part. So you can use it on the sleeve part to make a structural statement on the sleeve and then on the waist. So today we're going to be working with the waist one, which has really been in vogue. If you are on Instagram, you will see them in most dresses. So we're going to be making use of our boning to, to, for structuring, to stand it. And then we're going to make use of our satin. And then we're still going to add interfacing to make it stand. And then that interfacing is what will close up the boning, that you will not see the boning lines on the outer part. So it is a very simple process. So if you want to register for my online classes, so you could see my number scrolling through the screen, we actually have a new class, which is the Padded Igbo Madame Blouse class. So if you want to register for that class and my other classes, just send me a message on WhatsApp and then I'll send you the details of the available classes. Okay. Okay, so for the waist parts, so I'm going to measure. So if you are adding this structure to a... A basque waistline. So all you have to do, you know, basque is usually V on this part. So what you will do, you take your tape like this, and then you measure from your basque waistline to where you want, where you want the structure to stop. So mine, what I have here is about thirteen inches. So from this point, it's about thirteen inches. So that's the measurement that I need. The other one, I'm the one that is going to decide how long I want it to be. So. Let's just get started. Let's draft. Okay, so I'm going to fold my paper. So I'll cut it. In, I'll just cut it out on the pattern paper. And then we'll transfer it to the fabric. So you know I'm using 13. That's the waist measurement. So here is what I'm going to do. You divide my paper is folded into two. So my 13 inches, this is my 13 inches. When you divide 13 into two, you are going to have six and half so this is my six and half so i'm going to add because i'm going to sew and turn i'm just going to add about one inch to it so this is where i'm stopping the next thing i'm going to measure the length of my structure so earlier on i tried out something so this is the length that i used so i have about roughly six inches here so i'm going to make it I'm going to make it six, seven inches. Why I'm going to make it seven inches? Because the top part, you're going to attach it and then you close it up with applique. So I'm going to make seven inches here. So the seven inches, I'm just going to mark it on this part like this. This is seven inches here. And then I'll come to this part like this. So for this part, I'm going to slant it into this part. So on this part, I'm, just, I'm going to use about three and a half inches here. So that's from here to here is three and a half inches like this. So what I'm going to do, once I get to this three and a half inches part, I'm just going to like slope it into this part just to create something like a V. You understand? To create something like a V. So I'm going to cut it out. It's a simple process. It's not a very big deal. So I'm going to cut it out and open it. So at the end of the day, you see what I have. So why I'm not going to trim this is because this part, I'm not going to be closing this part. So I'm going to sew and turn. So at the end of the day, any excess that I have, I can actually trim out from this top part. So the next thing, let's, let me cut out my fabric. So I've finished cutting. So I'm going to start stitching now. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to stitch... 
my so i'm using regelin bone so i'm going to stitch it so i'm just going to come up with about half of an inch so i will be able to turn turn this with my actual fabric that's when i'm turning so i'm going to sew it around to this part like this so i'll sew it around so let's just sew and see So you regelin bone in there actually easy to sew on. They are so able so you can sew with your machine. So I finished stitching this part, so I'm going to cut. So this part escape, I'm going to stitch it back. So the next thing we are going to do, we are going to stitch. So I'm going to cut out three pieces that I'm going to use to to like balance you know it is a cage art that I'm going to use to balance it like this so I'm going to cut one and then the next one is going to be on the center like this so I'll make sure that I'm leaving half of an inch on top because so I'll be able to sew I'll have space to sew and then this is the third one So I'm just going to go ahead to fix my thread and then I will stitch them down just the way I'm stitching this. So this part I'm going to complete it right now. Okay, so you see I finished stitching. I finished stitching it around. So I had to... My machine was jumping thread while I was doing this. So the next thing I'm going to do, so I cut out just the same thing that I cut out initially. I cut out another one. So I'm going to go and iron this interfacing on it. So the essence of ironing this interfacing on it is for it to, to, for it to be thick, to have structure. So you can decide to double your, your fabric. Because if you notice on the right side, the, the, this part, you will not even notice it. Unless you watch it closely, that's when you will see that it has those lines. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to go and iron interfacing on this. With this my interfacing. So after ironing the interfacing, I'm going to I'm going to place it like this. And then these edges that I opened up, I'm going to sew it and turn it. So note, I'm not adding any boning. I'm not adding any one on top. So I'm just going to take it and then I'll sew it, sew it around on this down part. And then we'll go and see how I'll go and show you how to attach it. So I finished stitching them together. So you know that the first, so I'm going to turn it out first. There's something I'm going to show you. So you see when you turn it out you know the, this other piece I, I told you that we're going to double it so one has interfacing the other one does not have interfacing so i think i will advise you to interface the both of them okay so you see what we have now on this part so you see the stitch lines they are showing on this part so you don't want to leave it like this because you know when it is standing that part is going to be showing so that is why i asked for you to double the actual fabric so you, this you will use to cover up you use to cover up that part so you see how it is looking now so when you cover up so you see the way the inside is looking so what i'm going to do now go and i'll take it and go and give it a good ironing and then i would secure i will secure it down on this part so you could see it is standing and properly so I'll just iron it first and then I'll use my hand to, to fix it properly, however I want it to be, so you see. So once you turn it like this, because of the boning, it will stand to wherever you want it to stand to. So I'll iron it and fix it properly. Let me iron first. Okay, so I finished ironing it, so I secured it down. 
So I'll take it back now to my machine. So I'm just trying to trim to the table and let me show you how it will look like on the mannequin. So let's try and attach it on the mannequin. Okay, so my mannequin is actually a plastic mannequin. It's not a pinable one. So from this on that part, you can just secure it. So you have two ways. If you don't, if you want to, if you want to add an applique, just like the one on the picture, it was actually fixed. So you are going to fix it like this. So you are going to use your needle and your thread to fix it as you just stitch it. So once you stitch it, because of the boning on it, so it stands. So once you, after stitching, you can see it without even any attachment. So you see it standing. So you can just from this part on your basque waistline, fix it to the back where you want it to be. That's one option. And then when you are done, this rough edges, you are going to cover it up with an applique. But if you don't want to cover it up, you can hide it. You can decide to fix it from the under like this. So as it is still standing, you stitch it from this under. So when you stitch from this under part like that, it's going to cover up. So this, you can actually use it for... For the one of the sleeve, what was actually cut out is not this kind of curved one, but the, a straight, a more straight one that was used on the sleeve part. So anyhow you want to cut it depends on the design that you want to do. So this is just like a concept to, to give you an idea of how these um, cages are being done. So if you find this video helpful, I wish my mannequin was pinnable. I would have loved to really pin it. So I like the structure, the way it is standing on like this so thank you so much if you find this helpful i would appreciate so you see this part that i was telling you so you see that on this outer part the boning structure is not really it's not even obvious you will not even know that bones were added you'll not be wondering why is this standing like this but bones are inside so thank you so much i'll see you in my next video in my next class rather thank you so much